Hey guys, it's Matt, and four wheels might move the body, but two wheels move the soul. And this is the top five accessories that you need, I would recommend, before you take a long trip on your motorcycle. Now this is kind of geared towards sport, sport bike riding instead of riding a Harley or, or a Cruiser or whatever. Those are kind of made for long trips. But if you're going to, uh, I just did 2,000 miles uh, on this in four days, which, wow, that was a lot. Especially considering one day I was just hanging out. But, um, but yeah, this, this is the top five that, uh, things that you need. And number one is the right gear. And I don't mean just, you know, safety's sake, obviously safety's sake. You want motorcycle gear. You don't just want to be wearing a regular coat or, or regular gloves. But you also want something that's going to, if you're going to go through the rain, protect you somewhat with the rain. Or, um, you know, it, it's not going to be fatiguing. It's going to be comfortable. It's going to be warm enough. It's going to be cool enough. Or whatever. And, and, and you kind of want your clothing to be able to adapt to the changing conditions. So number one is the gear. And you really got to think about where you're going. This trip, it was 45 when I left out. I had my coveralls underneath my leather jacket, my riding pants, boots, gloves. And I had my winter gloves on. Now, you know, they weren't motorcycle gloves. They were fleece line cowhide. But they were damn good when it was cold. My fingers didn't freeze. I was really surprised. And these vented motorcycle gloves... I wore when it warmed up, give me a little bit more protection. So you need you need the right gear, you need gear that will be able to adjust to conditions. Number two is if you only have saddlebags, you need a backpack. Get a good quality one. This one has padding here, straps here. These straps buckle, you know, across your chest so it's not on your on your um, shoulders. And the other thing too is this sets right there on the um, passenger. You lean back, sets right on the passenger seat, and you can lean forward. Adjust it to where you can do that. You can lean forward and move around, or you can set back and get the weight off your shoulders. Get a nice backpack. You see I got reflectors on there, and I don't have a pack. Number three is something a lot of people don't think about. If you have a, have a, have a sport bike, Harley, I, I, cruisers, I don't know. You need tank grips. These will really help you out with fatigue. Um, if you try and, and grip a smooth tank, especially with you know polyester riding pants or whatever, maybe even jeans, it's gonna it it will wear you out quick. Whereas these, you just set your leg on this and and you can really maneuver the bike great. And it's a lot less fatiguing. Your knee isn't. Up against you know this fairing here it gives you a little bit more padding and just just get some tank grips period number four is you want a little a handful of tools now Kawasaki comes with a pretty good toolkit enough to adjust the chain take off the fairings adjust the handlebars and stuff like that but I got spare Allen wrenches uh, zip ties uh, vice grips, uh, Kawasaki kit comes with a uh, flathead and Phillips screwdriver, and, uh, and a basic uh, ratchet set. And even that was pretty heavy, so that's about all the tools that you would, you would want on a, on a bike. But go throughout all the, all the fasteners and just get the sizes that you need to. You don't need a whole socket set. And Leads me on to number five. You need water. Uh, bring you bring you a gallon of water, and uh, it takes up a lot of space. It's real heavy, but you got to stay hydrated on these long trips. Uh, and that's that's it. That's the five five accessories that I would uh, recommend you have. Anybody. Uh, on a long trip.